winner that we got. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes luck is on your side, and we're glad this guy's on our side, and that is Mr. Joey Odessa. Joy Bagels, it's bagel time. Joy, 25 and 6. That is 80.6%. We have been on the UFC the past three weeks on our prelim show and on our podcast itself. Prelim show, just to remind everybody, is follow the action on Twitch or on YouTube one hour before the UFC prelims every single Saturday. Joy, we got more UFC coming up this week. Looks like a much better card. Thought the card last week was a little bit weak, at least in uh, my opinion. Got Cowboy Cerrone, Covington, a lot of people fighting that people have heard of before and really want to see. What do you got for us this week? Well, this week, UFC on ESPN 36 plus, or ESPN plus 36. Tyrone Woodley, Kobe Covington. Long time feud between these two guys, both great wrestlers. I mean, this 170 pound division for me is exciting because you got guys like Koscheck and and uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Johnny Hendricks, Usman Covington's an All American, Pac 10, or excuse me, yeah, Pac 12 champ for Oregon. Woodley's a two time All American out of Missouri. Covington lost his last fight to Usman, uh, got stopped in the last round. Woodley lost, lost his last fight to Gilbert Burns. 10-8 first round, arguably, then got swept the rest of the rounds. A lot of people think he's at the end of his rope right now. Covington is sitting around, I don't know, probably minus 350, 370. I think it's a little high. You look back in hindsight at some of these guys these guys fought, you know, and you say, well, geez, you know, maybe they matched up well. I think that Covington actually matches up okay with Woodley. You know, and, and what do we does have power? Now, granted, he didn't show it against Gilbert Burns. He didn't show it against Deucemon. But, I, you know, I just, I'm not running out the way a big price on Colby Covington when he's coming off that knockout. And another thing, I mean, he's out and, you know, he's photo ops and everything. He's a big, you know, he's a big supporter of the president. He's always out and, and pictures and things like that. I'm not seeing too much of Woodley. Now, unless Woodley just mails it in, which I don't think he will, because I think this fight's personal, I want to say that Woodley's live. I mean, looking at it, if I had to say gun, gun to my head, I mean, I'd go with Covington. He's a three-and-a-half-to-one favorite. But if I'm a value guy, I'm saying, well, maybe, you know, maybe Woodley's got a shot here. I think the favorites on this main card could run the card. One bout that I'm interested in is uh, Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker's fighting Ryan Spann. This Ryan Spann, he's four and, I think he's 4-0 in the UFC. I haven't, I haven't been on the right side of these Ryan Spann fights. I've been betting against him. But Walker is coming off of COVID. Now, they post this bout back another, I guess, two weeks to now. And I look at this fight and I'm saying, well, you know, if he's ready, he's ready. But then the news popped about Cormier being positive for COVID. And I, and I take another look at this fight and I say, well, geez, it did affect uh, Cormier a little bit. He's, he, you know, these heavier guys, bigger guys, maybe harder to get over. Plus, Walker was like 200, and what was he, 234 pounds a couple weeks ago. And uh, you see, he's about 10, 12 pounds over, I heard, last I heard on this, you know, for this weekend's fight. So I, I think that Ryan Spann has got a shot here. I think the longer it goes, it favors Spann. Walker's shown a lot of flaws. He was like the big, you know, everybody was really pumped up about him, and he was like the next big thing. Then he dropped two in a row. What? But you know who's coming back? Kazmat Chemaev. Yes, Eight sir. Yes, sir. That is Philly Godfather's favorite name. It's one of my favorite yeah. fighters. Love that guy. He's New to the UFC, you know, people are talking really high. high hey, Joy, hey, Joy, what did he have? See, I'm going to come in and review. What did he have? He had like a fight. He had uh, two fights back to back within 14 days of each other, yeah. right? So, yeah, within two weeks, and he won them both. Won them both easy. Just, just steamrolled the guy. He's in here now. This is interesting because he's in here against Gerald Mishart, or Gerald Mishart, I'm saying his name, who's got double digit losses. Now, that, that Chamayev opened up about six, minus 650. He's down below 400. You know, they're betting Mearshart. I don't know if they, you know, I mean, this is one of these fighters where, you know, he's going to make people a believer sooner or later. I mean, Khabib made people a believer. People lost money betting against him, just like Floyd Mayweather. Now, I'm not comparing this guy to Floyd Mayweather, but at 8-0, and he's got a lot of career in front of him. He's still young. And, you know, and if they're going to start betting against him now, looking to fade him, I think they're in for, you know, a rude awakening. I think they're going to lose some money. I think Chamaya wins his fight, and he's one of the few guys on this card. Well, few guys that I feel comfortable laying like minus 300 or more with. I think at minus 350, I, I think he's kind of a, I don't want to say a steal, but I think it's a great price. Hey, Joe, I got a quick question for you. I, going, going back to the main event, because Kobe Covington has done, he, he, he's got such great cardio, but he doesn't have a great knockout punch. If people don't want to lay the big number over 300 against a former champion in Tyron Woodley, 
What about the over? Do you like the over in that in that matchup? Uh, you know, four and a half over minus two ten. You know, a little over two to one. Look, Woodley. I think Woodley's got to hurt Covington to beat him. I do. I think Woodley can hurt him. I do, but I don't know which Woodley's going to show up. I'm hoping that he shows some, you know, some heart in this fight. And you know, because it's personal. These guys have been drawn back and forth for a while. I mean, it goes all the way back. I mean, this 170 pound division, like I said, has been deep with wrestlers with good NCAA Division One pedigree. Kobe did win a JUCO title before. He went to Division One, you know. And speaking, speaking of like heart and, and fighting, the undercard. We got this kid going from my neck of the woods again, Irvin Rivera from the eight four five. I talked about him, tough kid out of Newburgh, New York. He's fighting Andre Ewell. Uh, Rivera won his last fight. He looked good in defeat in his first fight on short notice in the UFC. But I think Ewell's going to beat him here. I mean, this is one one spot where you know I'm not going to be like my New York Jets and say, look. Let's go bet Irving Rivera. <laughs> all right? I, I just look. I'm throwing the towel. I get it's It's a blue one, but, <laughs> but it's all right. I, I surrender. Look, I That's all right. Jets, That's all right. But the Southern New Yorker is going to lose to Ewell, okay, on no. the undercard. And I could go through, just like last week, no, I can no, give you no, all the winners now. No, no, no. We'll wait, no, no, we'll no, wait for wait Saturday. Saturday. We'll wait for Saturday, just an hour before the prelims. We'll go top to bottom on the entire UFC card, one that I'm very much looking forward to. Now, let's